Hey, um, today I've got Nikki Rothen here with me and we're going to do a little bit of um, psychometry for you. So I've known Nikki for, gosh, seven or eight years. No, no, it's more than that. I've had uh, the shop closed for at least seven years. So it was probably the last year of your shop, so eight years. Yeah, yeah, okay, eight years. I was thinking, this morning I was thinking, if it's 2003, then I've known Nikki ten years. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can't remember. So about nine years, or eight yeah. years, eight or nine years, wow. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> Long time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Nikki uh, used to be a customer in my first shop, Namaste, and uh, you did Reiki with me, didn't you? Reiki one, Reiki two. Reiki three, <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? And then I went and started uh, intentional community in Ecuador, and now I'm teaching Reiki one and Reiki two. Fabulous, <laughs> and soon Reiki three. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another few years, I'll get there one day. <laughs> Fabulous. So the name I was trying to say the name of of um, Nikki's Comuna de Rianon or Much Rianon fun. Community. So um, if you want to contact us, it's um, uh, www.riannon.community, um, sorry, riannon-community.org. Uh-huh, yeah. and it's in Ecuador, and you do... Yeah. We do lots of stuff, we do um, yoga retreats, we do um, Reiki courses, um, weekend courses, we do, I do massage courses for weekends, and we do shamanic ceremonies. Wow. And permaculture courses. Wow. And, yeah. Gosh, loads. You're doing yeah. absolutely loads. Yeah, it's fun. See, that's what happens when you do Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You go to Ecuador and, and you start run, a retreat. We run a volunteer programme as well, so people can come for a month and they contribute 35 to $65 for food and work five hours a day, five days a week on the farm and we enjoy living and eating and doing stuff communally oh, free, free yoga too. every afternoon <laughs> wow that's that yeah. just sounds like it's all about getting back to earth and nature yeah. and and we have 15 gosh. hectares and it's beautiful and a 360 degree of the mountains amazing it's very beautiful oh so yes it uh, feels like Is it? we Tiffany. need that. Yeah, yeah, I'll be over there. I will. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, so um, funnily enough, what happened was, well, N Nikki comes over and sees me, um, don't you, when you come over as to... As soon as I get here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, so, you know, you, I'm quite blessed to still have you as a Reiki client. Very blessed. And um, it was quite funny because I moved to uh, this place in the summer and I was sat outside a cafe on the street and um, I just heard a voice and uh, looked up and there was Nikki with her mum and I was like, Nikki! And she was like, what are you doing here? And I was like, what are you doing here? She was like, I live here! I was like, I live here! <laughs> and yeah. so you were brought up My here. My parents have lived in Salford for, for more than... Well, I'm 36, so 40 years probably. Mm. More than, yeah. Wow. Years. Yeah. In the same house. Yeah. In the same house. Yeah. So, you know, the universe just went plonk, here you go. So now she's come round and we're going to do a little bit of psychometry for you. Now, psychometry, do you know what psychometry means? Mm -mm, not a good definition. Mm. I know vaguely what it is, but... Okay, what it, do you know? Well, it's kind of... Um, I guess getting the feeling of an object and maybe some information from kind of reading an object. Absolutely. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what we're doing. And um, it's basically, so the word psyche, psyche, psyche is uh, soul. Well, it means mind and soul. Um, so we're used to seeing it as the mind, aren't we, in today's culture, very mm -hmm. much like... Soci uh, psychiatry or psychology but it also means soul so it's a double barreled name so or double meaning to it and metri means measure so 
but mm. when you're doing psychometry what you're doing is you're kind of measuring the soul mm. but yeah basically that's what it is it's hold an object and see what you get maybe okay so the first thing about being able to do psychic work is to not care about whether you get it wrong <laughs> so this is not a demonstration of like oh how great our psychic skills are this is more a, a youtube about um this is how you navigate it this is how you do it and you know this is what you learn from so we're just going to talk through that i will start nikki will give me an object and i will start and i will just talk about what i'm getting and then she'll feed back and then we'll swap okay ready cool ready <laughs> yes Okay, so you're going to give me something. Move the object from my body. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first thing I feel from this is a very light, very high vibration. As soon as it went in my hand, I felt from my heart chakra upwards go vroom. And it was just like this vortex that kind of came out that way upwards and it was lilac and it was spinning. And very randomly I, I saw or I felt a black and white cat straight away. It was like this presence very, very strongly. So now I'm just going to take another minute to tune in and see what else comes. Okay, now I'm being shown a really what feels like a really quaint um, country house, almost like something that would I would expect would belong to Red Riding Hood. I'm seeing kind of forestry around it and it feels very old fashioned cottage. Um, beautiful, beautiful garden, winding path. It feels like classic old English country garden and I'm just being told again and again country lanes country lanes country lanes so I'm just asking for some more information that's what I do when I go quiet I just ask for more information and now I'm being draw drawn to a star feels like a very strong, very bright star, feels like it's really wanting to connect with you. I'm getting, I don't know if it's Venus, but you know how Venus shines really brightly? It's just like really standing out like that. And I keep getting the name Roger. <laughs> very random, but there we go. Um, and I'm just going to tune in a little bit more. And if you get stuck with psychometry, a good thing to do is to um if you know about the chakras go into the chakras and ask questions so for instance i'm going to go into nikki's root chakra now and i'm going to ask questions about home health past family now as i do that this is heating up and this is feeling like it's throbbing to me it's actually feeling quite angry or quite passionate it feels to me as if there's some sense of needing to release your energy completely fully and that hasn't happened yet and it's it's fine it's all as it's meant to be but it's just saying that your whole potential hasn't completely manifested yet it feels like there's so much more to come okay So I'm going into the sacral now. The sacral feels lovely. The sacral feels very happy to me. It feels like, yeah, I'm in my zone. I'm chilling out. There's nothing I need to do or anything. It just feels great. It feels like it's in its creative flow. It doesn't feel blocked in any way. Solar plexus feels like, um, you know those uh, stress balls you get? Mm -hmm. feels like a yellow stress ball so it's like rubbery b ball um, so it's like it feels to me as if it's it's telling me that it's growing um, and that it's getting stronger and so 
this is not something to worry about. This is an improvement. It's just like um, a bit like a cocoon. You know, when you're transforming, you, you need that kind of protection around you. And then when the time is right, it will kind of shed or, or pop out from there. So it feels like it's a necessary transition. It's speaking to me. It's been mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so heart... Wow, what I'm seeing is um, you being outside at night time looking up at the stars and feeling amazing, feeling connected and um, then I'm actually seeing Egypt as well. So I'm feeling that there's this real sacred old connection going on in your in your heart and it's really activated by going outside at night and the stars again, lying on the back looking up at the stars. It feels to me as if there's some real spiritual connection going on there and there's a there's a sense of healing and there's a sense of preparation and development just from doing that I feel okay I'm trying to go into your throat but I'm being told I have to just go straight up to your third eye um it feels to me like the throat is like no I don't want to know um maybe it's something to do with it being social media <laughs> <don't know> <laughs> so it's like okay I'll respect that I'll go up to the third eye now that cat's come in again. So cute. But it's like, it's appearing to me like a cartoon, like it's not real. It's really strange. Uh, black and white. Um, anything else? I've got a pain up my back now, from the middle upwards. So um, it feels to me like there's something here to do with balance and alignment, because that's what third eye is about as well. So it feels to me like there might need to be some adjusting done to your body. A bit more yoga. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit hard at my mum's house. Oh. <laughs> well, it's kind of getting like some type of, you know, clicking, like, I don't know whether that's chiropractor. Uh -huh. Or it was just like, but I'm really being drawn to your hips with it mm -hmm. as well. It's like, <laughs> no, I want to straighten them up. Mm. Like, like so. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Right, well, I'm glad something did. <laughs> so now we'll go to the crown. Um, okay. So, um, the first thing I got with the crown was a rainbow, which would make sense, generally speaking, anyway, but that's telling me that your crown is, is an amazing... It's in an amazing vibration, really. Very, very clear, very, very ready to like do spiritual work. Really beautiful energy there. Um, and then I saw a shamrock. Now, then of course, because I know that your community is called Rhiannon and that's an mm -hmm. Irish name, my logic's come in. Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm wanting to ask you questions mm -hmm. and I'm fighting against that because that's not a good thing. So, um, I'm just speaking about, you see what you do is you speak about your whole experience and rather than try and interpret or get information, you just speak about what's happening to you. So I saw that shamrock and then I did get, I couldn't help it, I got pulled to Ireland and I got told to explore. So um, it feels like there's something there about that. I'm now getting the name Martin. And I'm just going to go back and just uh, see if there's anything else that wants to come through. So, are you doing art retreats yet? That is the question. <laughs> I'm asking you Not a question. Yet, but it could be. Yeah, I'm seeing Potential. art. Okay. I'm seeing lots and lots of paint. Um, bright coloured paints. So it's not like the fine, you know, it's not like that we're going to draw amazing pieces. I do do a lot of art. We're not doing retreats yet, but I do a lot of art. That's kind of my role in the community is just go around everywhere decorating. Right, right. With big swells and suns and Big crazy. swells, colour. Yeah. yeah, really bright <laughs> Really colours. bright. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it feels to me like there's more to come through from that as well cool. for you strongly it feels to me like 
there's things about your purpose developing around art and around channeling. I'm getting those two things coming through really strongly. It feels to me as if your whole essence hasn't really come out there yet. It's been so much about the place yeah. that, you know, it's, it's, well, you know, it's a lifetime journey, isn't it? So it feels to me as it goes on that you'll get more and more into that space of who you are and it'll be supporting you to become who you are rather you than you supporting it to become what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds very Yeah. Natural. Another name, James. <laughs> oh, I've got lots of James in my life. Oh, have you? Yeah, about four. <laughs> okay, we'll try and narrow it down a bit. <laughs> I'm seeing this one as uh, quite tall. And, well, no, not that tall, actually, but he appears more tall than he is because he's quite wiry. So it's like, is it that you're tall or is it just that you're thin? Um, I've got that kind of thing when I look at him and it feels to me as if he's quite um, bald. But I don't think he's like bald like he's old. I think he's just shaved it off. Maybe it's starting to go. Maybe he's balding early because he doesn't actually feel mm -hmm. that old. He yeah, feels to me... have one like that. Right. <laughs> okay, so you know who he is. Okay, yeah. well, what's, what's it about him? He uh, feels very sweet. feels very sweet to me. Um, I, when I go into his energy, I feel a little bit shaken or a little bit vulnerable. Um, can easily be taken advantage of, but I feel that he's aware of that. So I feel as if he's trying to work with his sensitivity by protecting himself but it's actually making he's gone into himself more and more and more and uh, that's okay that's part of the pendulum swinging there's something about him swinging the other way is he 28 yet uh i think he's my age 36 oh okay he feels young he feels young to me he feels like and it could just be you know the the mental emotional sometimes yeah. the spirit just give me that um, rather than that but it just feels to me like he's going through it's all about him strengthening as a person and it feels to me as if there's something here about him being afraid to come out of himself and that's okay because it's all in its own time he doesn't need to push this and just talking about it happening naturally he's on a path with that that's the message that's coming through around that interesting very interesting yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, all right. Cats come back. <laughs> midnight. It's saying midnight. I come at midnight. Okay, all right, fine. Now I'm getting Patrick, but I think that's linked with Ireland and, and exploration of that Irish name. My logic could be coming in here. And I'm starting to try and make sense of things, so I'm realising that that's, this is the time for me to end it now. All right, so uh, there you are. Wow, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's fantastic. Cool. So do you know the cat? <laughs> well, that we have got, we have a black cat. We have Ooh. one very super spiritual black cat that died, and oh. then we got another super spiritual black cat. Um, and I think she's got a bit of white on her, but I'm not sure like maybe like white paws or a white chest i can't remember but um she's mostly black uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah and she's yeah she's often like i don't know just there for people when they need healing and stuff she's amazing it was yeah. like she was guiding the whole like information yeah. and i think she's kind of a i don't know a reincarnation of the other black cat mm. i think they i think for some reason we we need a black cat to help us Mm. And I, I really think that definitely she's special. Okay. Yeah, no, she felt like she was yeah. giving me all the information. It felt like I was connecting with this cool. black cat. But I saw I'm the white. I'm going to with her more. <laughs> 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 right, come here. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, but I was getting the white on the chest. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, a bit on the paws, but yeah. Okay, and do you go outside and lie on the earth and look up at the stars at um, night? Yeah, I definitely look at the stars at night. I don't know if I lie on the earth exactly. Okay. But I, yeah. Are you feeling up for I doing like, that? Yeah, I definitely like Because that was that. quite strong, that part. It felt like it was safe. I have li lain on the earth and looked up in the daytime quite often. Mm -hmm. And I have amazing outside yoga platforms where... Mm. Um, 
where you can just lie down and look up at the clouds and stuff. I haven't done it at night, but some friends did the other day. They all slept out on the yoga platforms. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's so maybe I should join them. Yeah, I think you should. But yeah. I, um, I think that's somebody at the door. So I think we're going to have to do this as a part one, and we'll be back for Nikki at uh, part two. Thank you. <laughs> hey, sorry, we've been interrupted, which means we've run out of time. Um, but uh, hopefully you got to see how to do psychometry anyway. And uh, if you would like to know more, then please do visit my site. I've got um, a course, Initiation to Psychic Development, and an e-course as well that you can do. Um, I didn't know you had an e-course. Yes. Excellent, I might be doing that. <laughs> I have a couple of psychic development e-courses cool. actually. So yeah, there's oh, that too. Yay! Oh, cool. <laughs> there you go, she's got a new client. <laughs> That's how social media works. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I had and no a... idea you had eagles. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad at selling myself. Yeah, oh, but there we go. Brilliant. And of course, you can also go to Ecuador. Excellent. Yes, come and visit and do a yoga course or a Reiki course or a massage course. So do you have to pay for those courses? Yeah. yeah. Uh, on top of the 30 five to sixty five. Yeah, they're just separate right. short two day courses and we're mostly running the two day courses are forty five to sixty five dollars, whatever you can offer. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Okay. That's All right. That. Yeah. So thank you, Nikki. Hey, thank you. All right, and thank you guys for watching and um, you're probably running off and finding some objects now to feel up. I hope so. <laughs> See you later. Bye.